Sharon, good morning. Well, it's still a quiet scene here in Guilford a few hours before President Trump arrives. So far, we've already seen hardwood products, which is across the street from Puritan Medical, setting up a barrier of logs that they're going to be using to block off the parking lot here in front of Puritan Medical. Now, President Trump is set to touch down in Bangor later this afternoon. That's where he's going to be meeting with a group of Maine fishermen. Then he'll head to Guilford to visit Puritan Medical, which is one of the largest producers of COVID-19 testing swabs in the world. President Trump plans to tour the facility and meet with some workers. And Mr. Trump's visit is certainly drawing a mixed reaction, including from Governor Janet Mills, who urged him to not come. Mills has said his visit could cause unrest and has asked the president check his rhetoric at the door when he arrives in Maine. But many in this small town of 1500 are excited and can't wait to see the decades old company receive national recognition. Puritan Medical employs around 300 in the area. Employees have been working overtime to meet the demand amid this coronavirus pandemic. State Senator Paul Davis says this visit means a lot to the community. There's a lot of employees there. They're a big economic driver. The company is and and it's just wonderful that the president has decided to come here and thank them for all their hard work. And the men and women that work there do work hard. Now, we are expecting some protests to take place today. We do know of one that will be taking place at Bangor International Airport outside of Wayfair. And there will also be one planned in Dover Foxcroft. Officials tell us that they are going to be upping patrols in order to keep things peaceful. And we will be updating you on air and online throughout the day as President Trump makes his much anticipated trip to Maine. Live in Guilford this morning, Sean Stackhouse, New Center, Maine. Sharon. All right. Thank you.